So it's been nine years for me in this business. Yes, yes. And I'm going to complete my ninth year next month. The last nine years, to say the least, has been the most exciting time in life. And I'll tell you reasons. Number one, how many people when they signed up, had actually no intention of signing up, they wanted to support their spouse. Huh? Anybody sitting here who said, you know what, I want to support my spouse, so I will start. I was one of them. When I saw the plan, I didn't understand anything. But my wife said, looks great, let's do it. It took me another three months when I sat in a training in the last part and by upline, AVP Sachin was doing a training. And I saw the numbers. I blew my mind. And let me give you a little brief. So I come from a place called Jabalpur in India, which is very, very small. Okay. And I grew up in that place, not knowing there is anything outside there. And when I went out, the only option I had was a job. And I did that for 13 years. And for 13 years, I did it with all my heart. What I was working, even today, a lot of you would give an arm and leg to get to that job. But in my head, there was a trade-off. The trade-off was that to get this, I have to give in the time I have to give in my life. And I had made my mind that I will live like this. And for me, my life was at an end. Till the time I started this business. Now that was the first time when I said, I will do it. But you know what, there is something going on in my head, which I believe few of you all also would have. That I will do it one more day. What's the urgency? Is there any urgency to do it today? I have started the business. I will do it. Now let me tell you, This urgency, I never even thought that you should have. Till the time, this is after the business, I had started the business and my wife was carrying our second son and my wife's mom suddenly fell sick. By that time, I had quit my job as well because I thought I'll do this. So I was doing, in my head, I was doing everything right. I had quit my job. I was doing this nine months in the business. And one day, we got a call that a bomb is not well. The doc called me because I was the only male member there and they had no one to talk to. The doctor said, you know what? The kind of money that you're spending on her, it doesn't make sense. And we want you to take a practical decision. Because after this, the medicines that we need will be maybe another one and a half times. The first response from me was, money is not an issue till the time I went to my ATM. ATM told me my truth and I didn't have the heart to go back in the hospital and tell the doctor that I can't afford. And my wife's sisters saw me there and they said, you know what, you've done enough. You've done enough, let it be. And Believe me, I don't even want 
my worst enemy to be faced with this decision that your one signature will make the difference between life and death. Morning 10 o'clock, I signed the form. Afternoon 12 o'clock, she passed away. When I was sitting outside, outside the hospital, I had no words to tell myself and I had nothing to say to me myself. All I thought was, what more could I have done? And my 13 years of my job, a grand designation, and came a point where I had to take this decision. In fact, everybody else who was there said, you made the right decision. But in my heart, I couldn't accept that it was the right decision. I don't think so. Anyone, anyone in this world has a decision to say this person will live or die. And I was sitting there with a blank look in my face, not knowing what to say next. Thank God. I signed up in this business. And that is the day I took a call. That is the day I really, really decided that I'm going to build this. If you ask my uplines, they'll tell you I'm the most introvert guy. I'm a wrong choice for network marketing. I'm pathologically shy. Now I know a lot of you all are sitting here who signed up in the business. The question that I want you to ask is, do you want to wait like me that when life will give you a lesson and then you will take a decision? Because there's only two ways you learn. One, you learn by yourself. Second, life will teach you. You decide. You decide. Because until and unless you can't decide that, you would just keep on telling, one more day, this problem, that problem, that problem. But the day you take that decision, and I actually started that day doing my business. Before that, I was doing something. The day I knew why I had to do this, that's the day the ownership, the urgency, everything can fall into place. Things happen in people's life. Question is, how do you take them? It could become a defining moment in your life or it could become just another incident in your life. And then something will happen again. Something will happen again. And you will say, you know what, my... Luck is bad, this is bad, I don't know people. Something you will keep on saying. And believe me, when I was growing up, my mom always used to tell me that you know what? You think too much, you want too much, one day you will end up in a wrong place. But you know what? I don't think so. It's a problem to ask for more. The problem is we get content with what we have and then we put our own barricades there. My problem was I never, ever, ever wanted to face this situation again. The question to you is, do you want to wake up when life teaches you? Or do you want to wake up today? Have you started the business? Or are you waiting for something to start? Have you faced rejections? Normal. Has anybody said no to you? Normal. Has anybody criticized your business? Normal. Because you're trying to aim for something which people usually don't aim for. It's very simple. A million dollar a year is not pocket change. 
most of us would have never seen these many digits in a bank account but it will not fall from up it will just not fall from there because you signed up it will start coming in once you take the decision and start putting in the hard work so yes the first step you signed up you came to week on you are very high but what are you going to do now is what is going to define one day my mom called me and she said what kind of business you started when you can't even pay your child's fees i told my mom only one thing don't criticize my business is going to change my life and if my kids and if my family are going to get that life then they will also have to go through the journey because they are part of my life if they're going to get the benefits then they will have to cross this also so when you go to your appliance crying ask yourself why are you crying why you crying because what you want is small or you crying because the journey is difficult my appliance avp sachin one of the times i was very very down nothing was moving for me i wasn't just making money and i still remember that night in the morning i had messaged him that i want to talk he was in uae he flew down the same night just to have a discussion with me and i still remember that line he said he said digi people don't suicide because the journey is difficult people suicide because they don't see the way have you seen the way i said yes i have seen the way question to you have you seen the way so why is painful why is it difficult and me this business will come back to you in ways you can't even think of my second reason to do this business was because a lot of people said this cannot happen that was my second reason they said this cannot happen my question is when somebody says this to you do you think they are more educated do you think they have more experience i never thought so i said i can do this you know why because i started it because years later when i'll meet them i look into their eyes and i'll say it worked you know why because i started it dam hai na to karke dikhana padega there is only one way to do it and that you keep doing it and till when till the time you become successful it's not about who's going fast who's going slow whether somebody has maxed out or somebody has not maxed out the question is are you still doing it do you still have it in you third reason i'll tell you why i am still here in every country in every religion there's a vow when you get married yes as a man or a woman you take a vow as a man you say i vow to take care of you correct or not how according to your budget question is for me at least it was that my wife will she remain as a queen with me or will she remain a queen of the budgeted salary that i get so it's not a matter of are you somebody who's going to feed or are you somebody who's going to give them their life the way they deserve to how many people have kids in this hall do you remember the time when you saw your son for the or daughter for the first time i still remember when i saw my elder one for the first time i held him in a hand and i told him you know what you lick live like a prince and that is why i'm still here and i don't break promises i don't break promises 
and the fourth reason when i started the two people sitting there ap sachin and ap kavita avp sachin is my friend i know him from as much as is my age you know what he got me in the business he remained a friend and he gave me another friend avp kavita and that's why i'm still here because i made a promise because the day i started i was told hold my hand for 5 years in this journey you and me will fight we'll cry we'll laugh we'll have fun we promise you we'll leave, not leave your hand till the time you reach there we only leave one promise from you you will not quit the business and don't break my promises and that is why i'm still here why every time there's a small problem you shake like this every time there's a small challenge your belief system gets shaken up and there is no answer like yesterday night datu sri said answers are in you outside nobody can give you an answer but i don't know about you i know about myself that i have one reason to do it i have two sons to do it i have two parents a wife and a friend a promise to my friend to do it what about you so do you have somebody do you have someone do you have some promises to keep because if you don't have that then you have no reason to come and cry to anyone it's your life live the way you want to and i'll give you last line which my grand up line avp dev said so we were sitting in a cafe all of us and he asked what do you think it requires to do or to have to succeed in this business and all of us were telling one or the other reason you know what he said so this is for the indians okay and then i'll translate then i'll translate bahut dam chahiye pata hai kahan pe pata hai kahan pe hai kya and people who don't understood you need balls of steel to do this business so do you have that do you have that dam hai kya kitna so question is do you have it in you do you have it in you and do you have the dam jigar mein dam hai karne ke liye agar hai to i love you a lot best of luck keep doing it and all your promises you will fulfill them because you made the promise because your family deserves the best because your son and daughter need to live like prince and princesses and your wife needs to live like a queen because you are the king of your own kingdom love you take care